good day to all you wonderful runaways. It is a beautiful sunny day, and like I said in my title, things just keep getting better. Ah, so as you know that uh, in my last video that I put out there uh, that I had found an apartment, um, had a had a roommate, and everything was great. It was it was perfect. It was just just exactly what was needed. Um, but we were really incompatible as far as sharing a living space. Uh, there's no no bad guys here. It's just we both had our own lives going. We both had things happening, and we totally were just totally getting in each other's way just simply by being who we are and doing what we're doing with our own lives. And so before things got volatile and we couldn't part on friendly terms, we decided that, hey, we're gonna have to get going. One of us has gotta go. Um, so we went back and forth with that for a little while. Not a big deal. Um, then I get this, uh, again, the outreach in Morocco here has just been unreal. Um, I, I get this, uh, I get this guy, he hits me up on Instagram and uh, he has a place for me to stay. And man, I couldn't believe it. I was like, okay, he starts sending me pictures of it, and I'm like, okay, that, I, I, I can see that, that works. So I got up the next morning, rolled up all those, uh, the blankets and the linens, and said goodbye to the old, and hello to the new. And uh, I just, and I couldn't be happier. I just, it just, just about the time, I think that something is that everything's just gonna go south for the long term. It's just, it's just a matter of trusting the process. It's just a matter of, just holding on and being patient, just like this whole thing here. It, you just have to trust it and uh, just know that it's gonna pass, that things are gonna get better. And uh, and I don't, I, I don't feel stuck here. I really don't. Um, I know that seems to be the, the trending words for the video titles and things, but uh, I, uh, I don't feel stuck here. I really don't. Right now, I'm on my way to the butcher shop to grab some meat and uh, get a little extra for the cats because the, you know, their food sources are uh, diminished greatly with this whole thing. So uh, as soon as it's safe to cross from the tram, look at these trams. They're state of the art. They're really nice. So I'm gonna come over here to the market. I've also got to grab some. Not only do I need to grab some meat, but I need to find. Uh, they're tearing down a lot of the markets. I've noticed when I'm out and about um, and the places where I was getting fruits and vegetables, those places are now gone. And I'm um, having to uh, walk around looking for other places to get uh, just your basic fruits and vegetables without paying too much at the grocery store because I'd rather go to the, uh, I'd rather go to the butcher shop, I'd rather go to the market rather to get these things. Um, I know they're out here. I just need to find them and it looks like oh looks like I actually I might have found one So yeah, look at there ah. Ah. I think I'm in luck. This is the place to come when you want your eggs your fruits and vegetables and things like that Very affordable. Uh, it's always fresh. You just need to take it home wash it up real good uh, including the eggs they still got stuff on them, if you know what I mean. So uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping here in this little market here, and then I'm gonna head over to the butcher shop and I'm gonna grab some meat, and uh, I will see you back at the apartment. Bye. So I know I said see you at the apartment, um, but I was coming through the butcher shop here, and I just saw something that uh, most of us, like in the, especially in the Western countries, we don't see this. Pretty little maids all in a row. It doesn't get any fresher than that. I mean, right? Am I right? It does not get any fresher than that. Okay, I just wanted to share that with all you people back home. I know the people over here, that's not a big deal, but I know that my peeps back in America, they're like, what? That's crazy. All right, see you back at the apartment. So I am back at the apartment finally, and I wanted to show you the upgrade, just how this just got so much better for me. I really, I could not wait to show you guys this apartment. Um, this is actually an Airbnb. And I've got the uh, the link to the Airbnb in the description down below. Uh, his name is uh, Anas, 
and I, I don't know how to say his last name, but uh, I'll throw it up here on the screen somewhere. Um, man, definitely, this is this is awesome. I can't even begin to tell you. So, for starters, <clears throat> you have this little electronic keypad, automatic lights when you walk out so that you're not walking in the dark. You see that? Uh, what if you can turn Okay, so there's that, which I thought was really cool. Um, I love the lighting in here. The lighting is just fantastic. Given where I was just a few days ago, I'm no longer having to do my laundry in a bucket. I have a washer and a dryer. Uh, the, the whole place just came fully stocked. I mean, look at this. Look at all this. This is so great. Look at this. Everything, everything. Microwave, freezer, refrigerator, all the pots and pans. Um, it just, it's all here. Uh, perfect little space for me to eat and do work. Uh, flat screen TV. And up there, you've got uh, the heat and air. This couch, this couch is just perfectly comfortable. I love, it's just the right firmness and softness at the same time that I, I could take a serious nap on that couch. I'm not even going to lie. This bed, exactly the same firmness. I love it. Ugh. So comfortable. I slept so great last night. Um, and check this out. Look at this. Watch this. <laughs> How cool is that? Talk about blocking out the sound and the light. Um, there's no waking up at the crack of dawn around here. I can sleep in if I want to. All the windows have the same thing. Oh, look at this. Has a closet. I can hang up my ratty ass clothes. There's an iron, an iron and bore, the iron, just extra blankets and pillows. Can never have too many pillows. Over there is another closet with uh, with more uh, linens and blankets and things. Um, so you're, you want for nothing. The place has Wi-Fi. It has Wi-Fi. Yes. And the last place I was at, um, it was a bathroom and it worked and it was okay. Um, but look at this one. Look at this. The toilet seat is not broken. It's a beautiful toilet. Got the bum hose. Um, I'm not real good at these reviews, so I still have my stuff laying around. So here's the shower. Both of those work. It's really fantastic. Hot water, pretty much on demand. It happens right away. Sink, the whole nine yards. Like I said, this place is completely stocked. I didn't need to go get anything but food. It's, uh, yeah. So, um, again, I'm not real smooth at these reviews and, and showing off where I'm staying. But, uh, man, I am incredibly stoked. And uh, if you ever come to Morocco and you find yourself in Rabat and you need a place to stay, you won't, obviously. This one, you know, this one's available. So as I was telling you before, this is the guy that hit me up on Instagram and said, hey, I've got a place. Um, and you sent me the pictures, yada, yada. And um, what he's actually doing, he has six properties. And he has offered up these two people in my very situation, the just the tourists who just, they just couldn't get out in time or, you know, they no matter what they tried to do, their flights kept getting canceled. Regardless, they're here. And he, so all six of his properties right now are full. They're, they're occupied with people just like me. And so I couldn't wait to show you this place. Put that link in the description below um, because I really want to support a business of a guy that's a class act just like a nice. And um, I can't thank him enough. And what he's done for me, what he's doing for the other tourists that are in the same boat that I'm in. Uh, so thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so about next week's video, um, I'm not really sure. I've had some really great suggestions, everything from cooking uh, uh, a traditional tagine to uh, teaching some English. I'm not really sure how it would pull off the English lessons. Um, let me know what would be the best way for me to teach you something here on YouTube. And maybe we can throw a little thing down at the end of the videos where uh, you've asked me something and I can answer it here. 
but I'm really not sure how that's going to play out, but I'm willing to play along. If we can figure it out, absolutely, let's do that. So um, anyways, the story keeps writing itself, and just when I think I don't have anything to talk about, boom, something fantastic comes along, and I cannot wait to tell you guys. So there was my opportunity, here's my video, and uh, I'll see you next week. Bye.